being a solopreneur and as a coach, marketing is probably the last thing that you wanted to do on this planet of Earth. There's so many things that you have to take care of in your business. And if you are working, trying to get to your full-time coaching business, chances are you probably can't really outsource and you can't really hire someone to work on your social media. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Notion as a tool to help me to ease my way to my content creation. So in a moment, I'm going to show you how to use Notion and how to set it up as a beginner and how this tool can really simplify a lot of the headaches that you have in content creation. me who's been working full-time and trying to grow a full-time coaching business, you might have noticed that there are so many things that you need to keep track of in addition to your social media marketing. So there's a lot of overwhelming feelings like how do I store all my content and where do I put them? I have this wonderful idea and they're all stored in my note app where do I actually find them and sort them out? So today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way of how you can use a project management tool like Notion to set up a content calendar for yourself and it makes a whole world of difference. And I'm going to share a link in the description box down below so that you can have my exact template already done for you and you can start today. So let's get started. All right, so what you are looking at is my Notion social media template. And this is, like I said, I'm going to link this in the description box down below so that you can grab a copy for yourself. And it's already made for you, it's already done for you, but I do want to show you how you can navigate this and how you can use this wonderful app to store your content idea. So if you're not familiar with Notion, Notion is a project management tool. It basically allows you to organize and create a lot of different templates that you can use. So Notion in itself, and it's a free, you can open a free account. So Notion itself has a lot of templates that's already built for you. And these are a lot of content creator who have already spent a lot of time. They put together a social media calendar um, and they also have things like CRM. So those of you who are looking for a CRM project, you, there's a sales CRM. So when you click on it, you can actually build a CRM yourself and you can track all the leads, which means that you no longer need to use the spreadsheet in order to track everything that you want to track in your coaching business. But I particularly like the option of having a content calendar. So inside here, you can have a social media calendar that has been built for you by Notion. Some of the content creators are amazingly talented. So I definitely recommend to check them out. And you can create your own or you can grab one of their, use one of their copies. And I have created my own because I've been using Notion for the last four years now, and I store everything, including my client's notes and all the things I need to track inside my Notion, all the business related things and all my copywriting stuff. Now, when you download, when you click on the link in the description box down below, I have included five templates for you. So you have Monday through Friday and each card has a template that's already built for you. So when you first get into Notion, Basically, it, you're going to see a page like this, okay? You get into Notion and you create a template. So you add a page. Each of the Notion template or dashboard that you saw earlier, it's going to be a page like your website page. It's a blank canvas and you have all the options to create it and build it. There's a couple of ways that you can build this uh, template yourself, or if you wanted to use a template, you can always use template. So once you open up a page, a blank page, you're going to see the empty headline. So you can give it a title. So I'm just going to name it Michelle's content planner or social media template, whatever that you wanted to call it. So that becomes the title of your page. And then down below, you're going to see you have options of importing or to choose a template or create a table. So in this case, I want this to be a dashboard where I can store 
more pages. So I'm going to hit a blank page and this would allow me to put more information on here to build it. And on the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see the three dots. When you bring it out, when you drop it down, you could customize the font to different font that you like. Um, I usually like the default one and I like to fall with, so it expand out. There's a lot of different options in here. You can even embed a video recording. That's also an option. But in this case, I'm going to simply start with a calendar. I'm going to go to the widget website. <clears throat> and when you do a Google search on Notion widget, you're going to find a lot of different websites and they have a lot of different options for you to choose from. So I'm just going to simply copy this and embed. And so now I have a clock. I can then shrink this and we'll resize this to however that I want. And I'm going to bring it to where I want it. And then I have a quote. So a quote, typically when you hit slash, it's going to allow you to have a call out box. So I'm going to drag this. So the way that you drag things is there's a nine dots over on the side, bring it over, and now it's in two columns. And then down below, I have this calendar. So the way that you embed a calendar or a database is you put the forward slash, and you're going to see all these different options that comes up to, to customize your the look that you want. So one of the, the thing about Notion is it works on a database. Everything that you store is stores as a giant spreadsheet and you just work off from that same spreadsheet, but using a different view. So I'm going to create a new calendar. It's going to be a calendar view and I want it to be a database. So this database is going to allow me to store all my content idea, all my social media content. So I'm gonna add a new database and this is going to be my social media calendar. And now I can simply work off the calendar itself, or I can change and add a new view by using a table function. So as a table view, I can then link the same social media calendar in a table view. So now I have something that almost look like a Google spreadsheet that I can work with. So I'm going to drag this again, using the night dots on the side, I'm going to drag this to the top right above the calendar view. So I'm going to rename this monthly overview. And then here I am going to call this my content idea bank, which means that Anytime I make any change inside the calendar, it's going to be reflected inside my content idea bank or vice versa. So if I were to add a new idea, what is life coaching? Then I can come in here and I can elaborate and write out what is life coaching? It is a partnership between a coach and a coachee to achieve a desirable goal. And so I can keep writing using this Notion database to store all my ideas. And then on the top, I can say this is going to go to Instagram or this going to Facebook. This is going to my LinkedIn. So I can give different tags. I can create different tags. And if I were to add another property, I can um, assign it to a virtual assistant if I need to, or I can create a checkbox so if it's done, I can store it away. And I'm going to drag this to the first one. And now on the top, you're going to see filter and sort. This will allow you to eliminate the things that you don't wanna see. For example, filter, I only want to see the, the boxes that has not been checked. And when I'm ready to schedule it, I can simply go to the date and I can pick today's date. Now you'll notice it's going to show up on your calendar view as well. So once you schedule it, it's going to pop up 
onto your calendar view so you have an overview of what's coming up for that whole entire month. Say this content idea has been posted, it's done, you can simply check it off and it's going to disappear because we have given a filter up here. And so this is the way that how you can build a really simple content planner for yourself that you can store all your wonderful ideas that you have and you wanted to create your content around and you can simply keep it this way. To make your life easier, I actually created a template for you and all you have to do is go to the description box down below and you can grab a copy for yourself. And inside that template, you I have customized it so that you it looks prettier. And basically I added another uh, view of the weekly planner because some of us actually like the view uh, weekly view so this is something extra for you but same idea you can move it around you can change the date you can change the time and inside this template I have given you um, additional five templates in here for you to try it out let's say for example I would like to create an inspiration quote for Monday and this piece I don't know when it's going to come out, but I just like to keep it there. I'm going to open it and I can store all these ideas. I can, I can keep all my, my idea here, inspirational quote that I came across, or maybe I read it somewhere. I'm going to keep it in here. And if I come back to it, I can elaborate um, more information to it, or I can just simply leave it as it is. Then you have, if I have a graphic that I would like to uh, use, then I can go to my Canva account and I'm going to drag that from my computer and simply put it inside here. And there you have it. This would be ready to go. When you're ready to post, you can find the information here. Notion is available on your mobile device in case you need to travel, you need to go somewhere, or let's say you are working full time and you are chained to your desk and you can't possibly be in front of your computer. You can imagine if you spent just a day on your weekend and just batch create all these contents the day before or the week before, then you would have endless information and you don't have to be bound to stay in front of your computer and trying to pull your hair out and thinking, what do I post and what should I post? This is a great way of storing all your beautiful and wonderful idea and you can work at your own pace and organize it so that you never run out of idea to share. And I made this because I know what it feels like to have a lot of wonderful idea and you're a solopreneur and you're trying to grow this coaching business full time and you don't have any help. So essentially it feels like you're not just, you're not moving forward, but in reality, all you need is just having some type of tool to help you to stay consistent so that you can be the coach that you wanted to be working full time and just still being able to have that, build that online presence. But if you are someone who's struggling to know what to say and how to say things, so you find yourself stuck in the writer's blog, even though you're a coach, then I got good news for you. My profitable coach formula is going to be open very soon. And all you have to do is click on the link in the description box and come join us inside this mastermind community so that you can know exactly what to say and how to say things so that you would never have to wonder, oh my gosh, how do I create the next piece of content? Drop it in the comment. Let me know what type of tool do you use for your social media posting? Are you staying consistent? Are any tools that you would like to share? Also comment down below. I would love for you to share resources with our community. Let's do this together.